There would be no Saskatoon Masters without them. Kara, Rochelle, Mike, and hundreds of volunteers have rolled up their sleeves to create a unique event in Canada. Nicole and I, the two co-chairs, kind of overseeing all the different elements of the event and making it all come to life from the athletes arriving to setting up the venue to making sure there's food and beverage here, a little bit of everything. I am the volunteer director, so my job is to be uh, recruiting and scheduling volunteers so that all um, aspects of the venue are taken care of in terms of setup and delivery of the event. I'm involved in the, the, the local tournament aspect, the, the youth portion, with getting as many uh, youth teams involved and coming out and checking out uh, the basketball tournament. Three days before the event, we bring these big uh, bleachers down and they travel down on these massive wheels. There's actually six sets, three on each side. So it takes about eight hours to drive all of these large bleachers down from just outside of uh, the city. Um, so that's definitely one of the most logistically challenging elements of building a stadium in downtown Saskatoon. Even our host committee gets right down involved with the, the hands-on physical work of putting the event together. We have teams that are traveling five, six hours um, driving that far just to participate in the tournament and stuff this weekend. So it's, it's a great opportunity for the kids to not only see the professionals that are out here playing, but also to participate in uh, the local tournament and be a part of something that's bigger than all of us. If those three were a world tour team, every basket would be assisted. Giving back to the community always comes first in Saskatchewan, no matter if your big day is approaching. My fiance, Joel, is the technical director of our volunteer uh, host committee. And so we're getting married in six weeks. So wedding plans have kind of been put on hold because we're both super busy with FIBA related activities. I've been volunteering since I was probably about 12. I'm from a really small town in Saskatchewan with only about 800 people. And my parents taught me to help out whenever needed. I love to encourage the, the young people that I work with on the basketball teams that I coach and whatnot to, to get engaged in the communities that they live in and to do as much volunteerism as possible. It's exciting to see everybody with smiles on their face, enjoying themselves, and it makes all the hard work that we've been doing for the past nine months totally worth it. Never a complaint. People love it, have a smile on their face. Sweaty, stinky by the end of the day, but everyone loves it. The level of bringing all these, these worldwide teams to one location where we have one of our top teams representing, it's just a great experience and the energy that's coming is going to bring out a lot more of the basketball here in this city. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to sit and actually watch uh, a few games and just kind of seeing all of our hard work come to life.